Yo people, welcome back. Now Marvel has been busy in the last week or so trying hard to make the brand look worth investing time and attention into. Last Sunday we saw the trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. Since then we've been seeing updates for things like Madam Web, Fantastic Four, Daredevil, Spider-Man and much more which I'll get into so stay tuned for all of that. Let's start out with Madam Web which released on Valentine's Day and as of now is the lowest rated Marvel movie in the history, getting even lower than Mobius. I'm personally not a fan of critics reviews but it's because it's corrupt and a lot of times they do reviews to suit certain agendas but because the critics know that this film will get dunked on not even they stuck their necks out for this which was an all-female superhero main character cast. I personally haven't watched the film but I've heard that apparently the women only wear the suits in the villain's visions and it only lasts about a total of one or two minutes in the whole movie so yeah Congratulations Madam Web for that new record. Another update from Sony's Spider-Verse or whatever they're trying to call this is that they're looking at Nicolas Cage to play Spider-Man Noir for the upcoming Spider-Man Noir live action movie. Now I think this is an awful idea personally but that's all Sony Marvel seems to know how to do. I personally have never understood the Nicolas Cage hype. I would hire someone else but yeah definitely not Nicolas Cage. Now Sony Marvel keeps making Marvel look crap but Disney Marvel are also doing their fair share of damage to keep the Marvel brand looking absolutely trash. Which brings me on to the only project they've dropped so far this year, which was Echo. We now got full confirmation of how trash that turned out to be with the Nielsen's top 10 ratings. On the week that it dropped, Echo only managed to get 10th place on the top 10, despite releasing all five episodes in the series at once, dropping the whole show on Disney Plus and Hulu, two different streaming services, and they just about scraped 10th. The series was apparently only watched for 731 million minutes in the first six days of release. So yeah, not a good look, and this is exactly why they dropped the whole thing in one go to save themselves from absolute further embarrassment. Anyways, let's talk about the future content that Marvel is gonna have. And I'll start with the Fantastic Four. Now, I made a video specifically on the cast and what we need to know about the movie so far. So if you want to go and watch that, the link is down below in the description. Anyways, we got the cast announced. Then we got more news that came out about Galactus appearing in the movie. Apparently the Silver Surfer that was going to be female has been scrapped from this Fantastic Four movie, which is an absolute W for now. But I reckon that they will still try to force that character maybe in the sequel movie or in Secret Wars in some way, shape or form. Next up is Spider-Man 4, probably the project most people are looking forward to the most. It was announced a few days ago that they've begun writing the script for this movie and we already know that Kingpin is involved in the project which suggests that we should be seeing Daredevil at the very least in the Spider-Man 4 movie. However, there has been rumours such as Ant-Man appearing, Kate Bishop appearing, so we'll have to wait and see. Overall, I wanted this to be a solo street level movie for Spider-Man, time to show what he can do by himself, but Disney and Sony are both starving out here, they need the attention, the money, the clout, so they will definitely force a whole bunch of cameos. The possibilities are endless in terms of who's going to appear. There's been rumours about this could be the equivalent of Captain America Civil War, so we'll just have to wait and see but it does look like they're trying to overdo stuff and just force a big mashup of different heroes in Spider-Man 4. Speaking of Daredevil, his show has been getting filmed for the last month or so and every day they film it feels like something big is getting leaked online. People are filming directly from the set and leaking stuff. I will be talking about the spoilers that I've seen so if you don't want any spoilers, if you don't want to hear anything, this is your cue to click off. Thank you for watching, drop a like as well, feel free to comment as well. So in terms of spoilers, we know that Matt Murdock, Karen and Foggy will reunite. We've seen Daredevil's new MCU suit. We know that Bullseye will make his return in this show. We know that the White Tiger will be in this and we've seen full confirmation that Kingpin is running for mayor in this show. Now the new spoiler I saw showed a video on set of someone with the Punisher logo and a hoodie sneak up behind the white tiger and shoot him in the head. I personally think it is the Punisher, but apparently this show will have many corrupt police officers that wear the Punisher's logo, so keep that in mind. This could maybe be a police officer that shoots the white tiger, but I personally think it's the Punisher. Last but not least, news that Henry Cavill will be joining the MCU after he was apparently offered a role which he accepted, although as of right now, it's unknown what the role is. He has mentioned in the past how he would like to play Captain Britain, 
I'm not sure how likely that is to even happen in the MCU with everything that they're doing all at once. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But this is a great addition for the MCU to have someone as dedicated and passionate as Henry Cavill. So this will definitely be exciting. Hopefully it's a big role and one that actually suits him instead of a random casting like Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards. But anyways, as always, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time and have a great rest of your day.